The World Robot Conference 2024, the largest yearly robot show, was held in China. This year, the nation's advancements in what is anticipated to be the most important technology of the ensuing 10 years startled visitors. Nearly 170 international companies showcased over 600 cutting-edge products, including robotic humanoids at the exhibition. This year, there were a total of 27 such robots, and they unquestionably emerged as the exhibition's real stars. The goal of the development businesses is to produce extremely lifelike androids that can make emotional bonds with humans in addition to carrying out useful jobs. Robotic baristas, robotic canines for security and rescue, and medical robots for minimally invasive surgeries were all on display at the show. Watch the only movie that provides the most thorough rundown of all the inventions, innovations, and robotics from the exhibition. This year, as it celebrates its 10th anniversary, the WRC effectively illustrated the primary trajectory of robotics progress during the ensuing 10 years. Shanghai Qingbao Engine Robot, a Chinese startup, unveiled Qingbao, a line of humanoid female robots, during the World Robot Conference 2024. These robots, which displayed cutting-edge technologies and creative robotic technology solutions, were a big attraction during the show. The company's robots are made to do a variety of jobs, including as engaging with people, giving information, and taking part in events. The robots may easily fill assistant jobs in customer service, teaching, and entertainment due to their design and functionality. Because of their sophisticated sensors and artificial intelligence, a systems, the robots can converse naturally and react to their environment. It seems sense that the EX Robots booth garnered a lot more attention. Every year, the company's robots get more and more lifelike. There were impersonations of well-known individuals, personnel doubles, and fictional characters at the WRC that were made just for fun. The gathering was amused by the robots in every manner possible as they imitated the looks of the guests and delivered stories with animated gestures. The firm, which has its own exhibition of the future, currently produces four, five, zero, zero robots a year mostly for educational and exhibition purposes. With the use of 3D scanning technology, EX Robots is able to replicate any individual. Not only are the company's robots gorgeous dolls, though, in order to enable empathy and simulate genuine contact with those around them, EX Robots developers are actively working on realistic skin in addition to other technologies like emotion recognition, emotion transmission, and voice. The humanoid robot Toro one from Paxini made its debut at the expo, bringing with it the promise of completely changing the way humans interact with machines. This robot is special because it can feel its surroundings in addition to seeing them. Tora 1 can detect temperature, pressure, friction, and even softness. With its dynamically adjustable height that ranges from 1.5 to 1.9 meters, its modular design makes it easy to customize its functionality for a variety of jobs and making it a versatile aid in any area. The robot's makers claim that it can process close to 8,000 touch impulses and contains 15 different kinds of tactile sensors. It can now identify and handle objects with amazing dexterity and softness thanks to this. Despite lacking legs, the robot's agile chassis allows for swift and fluid motions. Tesla's robot was the only one at the display to compete against the Chinese humanoids. Its unfortunate lack of a public performance and continued existence beneath the glass dome had no effect whatsoever on its appeal. China has a unique place for Tesla, and the business was been added to the list of vendors authorized for government contracts. The organization is currently having trouble training the robot to do a variety of doobies. Tesla is prepared to hire anyone willing to put on VR headsets and motion capture outfits day or night in order to get around this. It's interesting that candidates must have a driver's license a height of 170 to 180 centimeters, and the capacity to submit daily reports are further prerequisites. Robot trainers will receive pay ranging from $25 to $48 per hour in addition to stock bonuses, cash, and other benefits. Additionally on display was Humanoid Robots, Limited's first full-sized open-source humanoid robot from Kinglong. Its manufacturers assert that it can move fast while dodging obstacles walk across slopes and ditches, and have 43 active degrees of freedom. It can perform 400 trillion operations per second computationally. It has also been reported that the robot can use its hands to accomplish a variety of jobs. 
Humanoid Robots Limited intends to grow the number of robots in training to 1,000 during the next two years, produce a new robot every year, and create 100 application scenarios annually. The Zhejiang Humanoid Robot Innovation Center has presented NaviEye Navigator 2, a new humanoid robot. It demonstrated amazing skills on stage, imitating human gestures to make tea, play chess, and deliver a speech. NaviEye is 165 centimeters tall and 60 kilograms in weight. It has 41 degrees of freedom, with 275 trillion operations per second of processing capacity. It can react with lightning speed. Additionally, Navigator 2 has intelligent navigation built in, which enables it to interact with its environment with confidence, even identifying and grabbing objects. Liju unveiled the robot Quavo at the World Robot Conference 2024. Equipped with Huawei's Pangu Artificial Intelligence, Quavo runs on the Harmony OS. The NIO Automobile Factory is reportedly already using these robots for some duties, and these experiments have already been declared successful. Chinese officials claim that multitasking and quality control tasks in the car manufacturing industry are ideal uses for humanoid robots. The robot G1, developed by Galbet Company, has a wing spread of 190 centimeters and a working range of up to 240 centimeters. Its arm design sets it apart from most humanoids. The developers claim that this robot is special because it has a brain, a potent artificial intelligence that has no parallel. Later on, the robot's developers promised to share further details. Unix AI introduced another humanoid robot to the show that was intended for domestic use. This robot is meant to serve as a housekeeper and cook. Although it currently has two wheels, the business is already developing a two-legged version. Luckily, advances in technology have made it possible for smaller businesses to construct a humanoid robot and teach it the fundamentals of walking. The Chinese business FD Robots Innovation, Tia Ibot, was also on display at the event. With an astounding 71 degrees of freedom, it stands out. The Android can precisely map its surroundings and avoid impediments thanks to its superior sensory technologies, which include 3D vision and LiDAR. The robot is meant to be used in a variety of industrial settings such as cinema, the military, education, logistics, and healthcare. Cost is a barrier to wider adoption. The TLI bot cost between $70,000 and $140,000. As the WRC 2024 came to a close, China's next-generation humanoid robots left an indelible mark on the global tech community. With their lifelike movements, sophisticated AI capabilities, and human-like interactions, these robots are paving the way for a future where the boundaries between humans and machines blur even further. The advancements showcased at the conference hint at a world where humanoid robots could soon become an integral part of industries, from healthcare to education, and even our daily lives. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on the future of technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about the latest in cutting-edge tech.